are you to have your film be a part of Outfest? You know, this is awesome because our film really is aimed at the LGBT community, specifically the teachers and the adults that teach the kids to try and get this message out that homophobia has got to come to an end. I've been here a few different times and each time is really special. It's like, it's kind of like summer camp for me when I come here. It's wonderful. This is the fourth time I've been here. I've had three films of my own play here and now I'm the lead of a film that's playing here. It's a, it's a wonderful celebration of our culture and what we can do together as artists. This is our world premiere and Outfest really is the perfect venue for us, um, both with the theme of the film and the fact that uh, the, the crux of the film actually took place in West Hollywood, uh, blocks from where we'll be screening, uh, so it's really um, fitting for us to, to be premiering here. My film is a feature documentary that follows the lives of three uh, gay senior men. Um, and it kind of follows their lives in terms of the challenges of life, love, and their golden years. It's about a, a guy who's a little out of shape, who can't really find love, and then does find someone, but he thinks he's not good enough for him, so he kind of ruins the relationship with his massive insecurity. And, you know, it's kind of a romantic comedy with like a heart and a, a message about accepting yourself. Yes, uh, COG is based on uh, David Sedaris' work. It's based on uh, David's experiences as uh, when he traveled to Oregon and picked up apples. And it's based on a memoir I wrote when I was 25 years old about being in your 20s, living in the Mission District in the 90s in San Francisco. It's a film really about a filmmaker trying to make his open science fiction film. And it's really about the process of making film and the way that that takes over your life and the way those everyday relationships turn into kind of cinematic relationships. So it's about the process of engaging with the mind and making art. For me, I, you know, I just went out into the community and I really wanted to just meet people and see who I naturally gravitated towards. And I think all of them each have a certain quality that I really respond to. Um, and it has a lot to do with their each still discovering themselves, still figuring things out. Um, and so, yeah. I have been part of a really large queer um, arts community that contains a lot of filmmakers. So I, the whole reason this started is I was talking about this idea at a queer film festival with four filmmaker friends. They said, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do it. And that's how it happened. No, none of the main cast auditioned for the film. There were people whose work I'd seen and I just loved, and for me it was an opportunity to reach out to these people whose work I admired so much, and and they wanted to do the film. So it was just a great sort of equal appreciation, and people who felt they were right for it, people I felt were right for it, and we got to work together. It was a dream. I'm very excited to be working on Stephen King's Carrie. Oh, yeah. So it's, uh, the cast looks amazing. Julianne Moore. I'm so lucky. I have Julianne Moore. I have Chloe Moretz. I have Judy Greer. I have a host of new young talent. Uh, Ansel Elgort, who I cast him in his first movie, but now he's got three features book, Portia Doubleday, Gabriella Wilde. So it's a wonderful group of people who's, you know, they're already stars, and then there's people who I'm confident will be stars.